Section 7. Cause of, quote, sunrise and sunset, end quote. Although the sun is at all times above and parallel to the Earth's surface, he appears to ascend the firmament from morning till noon, and to descend and sink below the horizon at the evening. This arises from a simple and everywhere visible law of perspective. A flock of birds, when passing over a flat or marshy country, always appears to descend as it recedes, and if the flock is extensive, the first bird appears lower or nearer to the horizon than the last. When a balloon sails from an observer without increasing or decreasing its altitude, it appears gradually to approach the horizon. The farthest light in a row of lamps appears the lowest, although each one has the same altitude. Bearing these phenomena in mind, it will easily be seen how the sun, although always parallel to the surface of the earth, must appear to ascend when approaching and descend after leaving the meridian or noonday position. Let the line AB in figure 29, this is figure section 7 figure 1, figure 29 section 7 figure 1, represents a portion of the Earth's surface, CD of the sun's path, and HH, the line of sight. The surface of the Earth, AB, will appear to ascend from B to H, forming the horizon. When the sun is traversing the line CD in the direction of the arrows, he will appear to emerge from the horizon, H, and to gradually ascend the line HD. When the position 1, he will appear to be at the point 2, and when at 3, the apparent position will be at 4. But when he arrives upon the meridian, D, his apparent and actual or noonday position will be the same. But now from the point D, the sun will appear to descend, as in figure 30, and when he has passed from D to 1, he will appear at 2 and when really at 3 will appear at 4. Section 7, figure 2, figure 30. And when he has passed from D to 1, he will appear at 2, and when really at 3, will appear at 4. And thus, continuing his course in the direction DC, he will reach the horizon at H and disappear, or, quote, set, end quote, to the observer at HA. Thus, quote, sunrise and sunset, end quote, are phenomena dependent entirely upon the fact that the horizontal lines parallel to each other appear to approach or converge in the distance, and the surface of the earth being horizontal, and the line of sight of the observer, and the sun's path being parallel with it, necessarily produce the observed phenomena. End of section 7. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.